Hi, this particular slide addresses um, the uh, amount of pain involved in a change uh, by different, not only by different categories, but by sort of a timeline. So according to one study, uh, over 40% of the pain came from emotional anxiety. Oh my gosh, this is, you know, this could be bad for, I'm going to fail, look bad, all this sort of stuff. Um, you know, it's ungrounded, it's uh, data-free, uh, it's sensationalized and awfulizing stuff. And this is substantially taken care of with just lots of educational information, repetition, case stories, shared success stories, lots of little wins. 20% um, of it uh, will melt away with initial education, but then once we actually start, the anxiety goes way up. So we got to keep the the praising statements, the good news bulletins, everybody's got their oar in the water, they're pulling along, that kind of, of, of background information going to get through the transition. And then even once we get to the other side, and things are starting to consolidate, we've got some section, success, some traction, so forth. People still kind of want to go back to the old way, so we have to continue to say, this is why it's good for you and everybody, da 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 until finally people are just moving along with new habits. Um, another big category is the psychological denial give up. In other words, what we're suggesting is, because we have to change, what you're doing is not, uh, effective or 100 percent effective so they kind of see it as black or white either or i'm either great or i'm not so i don't want to psychologically admit i'm not great uh, i don't want to admit that i wasn't doing a great job i wasn't doing a smart job if i'm a sales rep calling an account that's losing big money and i'm getting paid big commissions because it's got big margin dollars but even bigger cost to serve uh, attached with it uh, you know i i i don't, I don't want to admit that I've been party to this, and I certainly don't want to give up the commissions I'm getting. So uh, the, the, this is real. You got to name it and 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 accept it and embrace it, and then figure out how to break it up and 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 deal with it. Uh, usually, it involves a team effort to transform the account from a super loser to actually a winner, and then get more volume. And during the whole transition, the salesperson is underwritten. They're guaranteed no downside risk, so they can only get upside under new comp plan going forward. Um, and really the operational implementation stress, get there a little early, stay a little late, learn this stuff and so forth. Yeah, more work, it's it's a little bit stressful. But again, once the the, the, the two big items are out of the way, this is, this is just not that big a deal. People get with it pretty quickly and they're riding the bike around the block and think this is great. What did I do before I knew how to ride a bike? So that's another perspective on the types of, of and weightings of, of change resistance. Thank you.